It's quiet. It's fast. And it only costs two cents a mile to operate. And it was all built by a 19 year old. The desire to be green and save money on parking at Bainbridge High prompted Mark King to build an electric car of his own. The reason why I built it was because the parking at the high school was $240. And I, I'm, I'm kind of uh, one to find loopholes, I guess. So I asked, I asked why it was so expensive, and they said that um, it was because they wanted people to be more green. They wanted people to carpool. And I thought, you know, how environmental and how green can I be? So I went home, and, and I had thought about it junior year, so I went home and just started with the frame, and I built up from that. I, uh, I didn't know what I was doing, but I knew I could do it. I knew I would get there. Built from scratch, the car's construction follows only the blueprints that appeared in his mind. The project took Mark nine months to build and cost around $2,400. He says building the car opens his eyes to the possibilities of electric cars on the open market and hopes more people will go green and build a car of their own. I'm one that finishes things, so I, I didn't want to give up through that nine months. I would work on it every night almost. and. Um, just coming in with aching backs and, uh, and whatnot. This is not the young inventor's first project. He also built an electric skateboard, a hybrid gas electric motorcycle, even a steel framed helicopter. And what's next for Mark? Well, yet another electric car. I'm doing this because no one else is doing it. Like the, the car companies aren't coming out with these things that they say that they're gonna come out with. So. I hope that people with ingenuity or without ingenuity go out and do this because it's an awesome process. The amount that I've learned is ridiculous. I mean, uh, it's, it's a lot more worth it than buying a car. I really hope that someone, someone else from BHS or from somewhere else on the island goes out and does this. Mark doesn't have plans for college quite yet but I'm sure he will be successful in whatever he decides to do.